All right, here are comics here. Next episode of Hero Comics, transgender hate mail, homosexual hate mail, atheist hate mail. Basically, we reacted to a bunch of screen caps on YouTube and DeviantArt. Uh, there, are to, there are comments, there are responsive comments that I made against these deviant lifestyles and a few other things. Make sure it's all good. Okay, thank you now. Uh, other things, trigger warning. If you don't like what I'm saying, go ahead and click off the video. Don't lie and say there's hate speech in my video, because there is a hate speech in my video. It's, video. it's speech you hate, that's a different story. Uh, let's continue on here. Mm. Uh, with uh, my story of the story uh, comments, my I, I'm tired of being the fat girl or chubby girl comments. You know, it was a really cute, really sad video. It's a pretty sad video. You know, not the slightest story of the story video I've ever seen, but a pretty sad one for what it was because it's just like she she is she's sad, ang sad and angry because her she's uh, a different build basically. <laughs> you know, she a tank build and uh, surrounded by DPSs <laughs> you know, or all around it. You know. Well, basically, she is on the heavy side, heavier side, and they're on the lighter side. Let's say, you know, and she's basically sad and angry about it because she doesn't understand why it's like that. No, it's because that's how things work sometimes. Mm -hmm. Genetics so are the way that is. You know, people come in all shapes and sizes. So let's continue on here. Uh, someone says exercise only accounts for twenty percent of being fat. Says somebody, mm -hmm. like. Just correct your diet gold or it. No, because I get really weird. I even, even I can stop myself eating junk food. I effing love eating it. No, because I get really weird. And so, where the F is this girl's mom? The reason a lot of kids will, will get, become fat is because their parents warn against it. I say things like, go do a lap or eat healthy or you'll become fat. Okay, that's not a good thing to say. <laughs> that puts more emphasis on it, which can cause them to freak out. <laughs> you know, for stuff that they should be freaking out on. Be like, oh no, there's loose, you know, my belly's round. Oh no. And I'm like, yeah. Um, they are the round billies around <laughs> it's all cool <laughs> what's this stuff what is this right here that's that's normal stuff <laughs> that's normal stuff okay it's just that's how your how your arms work <laughs> that's how your legs work. <laughs> that's how it is <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you know like uh no i went gaining weight oh my god you're also um taller <laughs> you grew that's what that means <laughs> okay so i help him out with that stuff all right let's go uh, why doesn't her mom ever do this? And why can't she stop buying junk? Just stop buying junk food. You know, she has to work on that. Uh, very true. My gym teacher actually has asthma, but she's in very good shape and can run a long time. I think she thinks she needs to start controlling what she eats. There are other things she can do also. Well, yeah, she can walk. Mm, yeah. Now, you walk away the pounds. You know, you check that out on YouTube. And walk away the pounds is pretty cool. Not sponsored, but you know, it is really cool stuff. Here's the deal with exercise. There are different kinds of exercises. For you know different kind of activity levels for different kind of levels of for you know, people, okay? Yeah, your super hardcore exercises that are people who have been exercising a long time and are athletes and you know how to do some stuff mm -hmm. do. You know, you got ones that are more about you know the person who's not ready, who's at the beginning. You know, basically me and my mom, we're trying to figure out, find exercise routines that work, and we're doing walk away the pounds, and that does work because it's basic aerobics. Mm -hmm. All right, does get your heart rate up, it does make you sweat a bit. But it's definitely lower impact than some other things are. Mm -hmm, okay, we used to do we used to do go to a gym and use exercise bikes. Now, uh, that's the interesting thing you see about the gym. You know, you see a bunch of dudes, you know, big dudes hanging out, uh, bodybuilding, mm -hmm, you know, working using those weights and everything. That's fine, mm -hmm, you know. But you don't really see that many people mm -hmm, hanging out at the exercise bikes or the, the treadmills that long, because it's a different thing. It's not just about looking good, mm -hmm, you know. It's about improving stamina. Mm -hmm, okay, it's about stuff like that. That stuff can be tough. Mm -hmm, okay, so what happens is here's how, here's how this works. Me and my mom would use the exercise bikes. We would basically get on these exercise bikes. And they say, okay, you gotta get your heart rate over a hundred beats per minute. Mm, and stay that, stay at that level for thirty minutes. Mm, okay, so we basically go on the exercise bike. There's TVs all around. You can watch stuff on TV, talk about things, you know, just hang out. Mm, you know, thirty minutes. You know, it checks your heart rate every now and then. It's like, yeah, you need to you know, go, you know, get your uh, heart rate up more. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Mm, you know, do that. You know, cycling for thirty minutes. Mm, okay, once we're done with that, we get off the thing. We're sweaty. We're shaky. You know, a little tired, but not bad. You know, and we go home, we eat. You know, guy, basically, what happens? I, I go home, I eat a meal. You know, I go to bed, no problem. Wake up the next day, I can't move. Yeah, it's uh, really, yeah, it, it catches up to you. You know, with uh, something like walking with the pounds, it's a much lower impact. It doesn't get your heart rate up as high, but you can feel it once you start learning how to feel how your heart rate. What happens? You feel when your heart rate gets up. You know, you start to feel that, you know, oh yeah, my heart rate's going up. I'm starting to feel, you know, starting to feel that, that feeling there, you know, and, but it's not as bad, not as, uh, crazy.
you know, you can still, you know, you won't be just falling over <clears throat> because you're out of energy, you know, but you still burn calories, you're still doing stuff. So lower impact exercise is the way this girl needs to work. All right. She needs to work on that. That's what you need to do. Uh, so, yeah, you know, that. she's saying she has trouble, you know, yeah, so doing, you know, that's with that's what you, that lower impact will help out with that. So you gotta work on that. Now also she has to work on getting better food. There is better food out there that still tastes really good, but it's better. <clears throat> okay. You know, you know, it costs more. But it's better. Mm, let's get new out of here. Uh, what am I doing? What am I talking All right, no time. Uh, I say, make sure my teacher. Okay, no, no, good shape. Okay, she's like, uh, the person's like, uh, there's other exercises you can do also. Maybe you should start walking that first and then r start running because she feels comfortable doing that. That's what I did when I used to be overweight and now I'm in good shape. People shouldn't be making read more. Mm, damn. Sorry about all the explanation points, but this is serious, I say. True, but what if she's not overweight? What if she's bigger than other kids because of her genetics? And so I say, here comes, well, I don't know if sure she, if she's overweight. Some, some genes can cause part of your body to be bigger, like thighs or other things. Like some people are naturally skinny and can't gain weight. Well, you know, genetics don't normally cause you to be obese or overweight. Well, no, uh, kind of. Mm. Bigger, mm, yes, mm, but uh, yeah, emotions can cause, you know, basically using food as a comfort and then uh, overeating causes that. Mm, so you gotta watch out for that. All right, some things can just make you more likely to be overweight or obese. She says in the video that she eats a lot of junk food. So that could be the reason she's a little bigger. It really is about lifestyle. Yeah, it's lifestyle. The lifestyle you have when it comes to eating and exercise. Yeah, you gotta work on that. I said lifestyle is a huge factor with many people's issues, but genetics can also play a part. If you come from a family of smaller people, you're most likely going to be small. If you're a family of bigger people, you're most likely going to be bigger. Mm, let's continue on here. Oh. Uh. People of all sizes should exercise, though. Mm, yeah, because exactly again with stamina, with getting your heart rate up, with getting running your calories, and working on that, working on your stamina, working on your endurance, that helps out. Mm, you know, you may not. Again, here's the deal. Mm, you know, I learned that. I may not ever be perfect, but I can be better. <laughs> That's what I learned because it's just like, yeah, I am. My, my weight has gone down a bit. You know, blood pressure's gone down, and you know that's, that, that's good. So you know, yeah, it's the same medication, but yeah, you know, things are better. You know, my doctor says, yeah, you need to continue improving. I'm like, okay, sure, but I may not be perfect, but I still can be better. <laughs> you know, so yeah, we're doing stuff. Stuff happening. Getting on here. You all have to exercise though. And then someone says, "Here, course, I agree with you, but both my uncles have parents that are obese, but they are still thin. Both my parents are overweight. And although I did gain a lot of weight when I was nine, I was able to lose it for a healthy weight." Losing weight is hard. It is hard in, in different ways, depending on their genetics sometimes. But it can be done. Like I say, by adopting the proper lifestyle, the other, the other people have to remember that even even at a healthy weight, they might not look the same as someone else. Mm, someone likes that. Mm, that's nice. Of course, that's also true. It's also it's okay to have some fat on your body and have a healthy weight. I have some fat myself. I'm not really skinny. But I still have a low healthy or healthy weight. BMI calculator is always the most accurate way to tell if someone is overweight because some of the weight comes from muscle. True. Someone has gained from working out. Well, it's good to know that you're going to on something. Smiley face. Normally, thank you. But I say, it's true. Muscle has weight. And some people say that it can be even heavier. It can be even heavier than fat. That's why I say people are fat. Just for how much they weigh is wrong, too. Mm, I got like for that. Mm. Now, I'm sorry. I got a little time. Okay, good. Continue. Wait. Wait a minute. Back, 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 back. Hold on. Mm. That is wrong too. Okay, yeah, that's the end of that one. On to this other one. There was another thing. This other group. Um, I don't know if they, they're, they're story. They're not story booth. There's some other uh, animated um, story maker making uh, um, group. Story animated video story making group. But they they had uh, one called. Um, I think it was like came out to my mom as what is it? Yeah, and now trans. Mm -hmm. Says this one girl, and now she basically says, oh crap. Get, get, get here. No, 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 do these. She basically says the stuff as we go through what she's saying. Uh, I, I basically breaking this down. I say you hate on the stereotype of what a girl is, but that is not what a girl is. The only thing that makes a girl a girl is their reproductive organs. Also, nothing is wrong with your boobs. Let's break this down. At uh, 16 minutes, seconds, you said that you hated being, playing the cute in front of a girlfriend. Then don't do that. You should act like you want to act. And if a boy doesn't like that, then he's not the one for you. You then said that he doesn't, you don't like wearing girly clothes. Then don't wear those. And don't wear a binder. We all people who are born with ovaries and a uterus will grow breasts. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no need to hide them. Then you said that you felt more like a boyfriend than a girlfriend. You mean the one who's in charge of the relationship? That's not right. Both boy and a girl should work together to find ways to get along. Also, uh, at 2.13, why can't you love your body? Mm. Because you must learn to. I had to learn to accept my skin color, despite all the bad things people said about it. It turns out that there's nothing wrong with my skin. The problem is the people who hate it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's how it goes. I got a like for that. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's how that works. Yeah, that's nice. That's for this. Hi, guys. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. Ooh. Elevation period video comments. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here we go. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Yep. Let's go. 
and someone says, a trans male. <laughs> okay, that first thing, as a trans male, girl wants to be a boy. I appreciate it.